Hey guys, Alex Sturgeon here for Hobbytown, and uh, we got a brand new unboxing to do this time. It is the Axial SCX-10 III Base Camp. Um, kind of already a lot of videos out there already, so I wanted to just go over what I think are the differences, um, the most important differences between this and the uh, original SCX-10 III, and uh, kind of what I think of the body and stuff like that too. Let's go ahead and open her up. Okay, uh, this one's blue, and I'm actually really happy that I got the blue one. Uh, it's it's kind of a it's kind of a light blue. I don't know. It's really neat. Um, okay, so we know that we have uh, the licensed bumpers and licensed uh, tires again. Uh, your Wild Peak MTs, which are used on a lot of the uh, SCX24 trucks, which is pretty cool. The rear bumper is a little big. You can kind of see here. I mean, it does match the body really well. And it does have D-rings already on it, which is nice if you're looking for those scale points. Let's take the body off. The body, of course, is a, it's not a Toyota, but it's kind of a Toyota, right? One thing about the body, uh, there's been a lot of talk on uh, online and stuff, is the fact that the windows are um, not clear. They're stickered, and uh, you can see on the inside that they're painted all the way through. So... You know, uh, we're going for basic here, and that's uh, that's one way to make it basic is is to uh, not worry about uh, having clear bodies. Probably saves them a little bit. Um, let's see what we got. So, metal frame. Um, this is really neat and interesting to me. Uh, this is a 15 kilogram uh, metal geared servo, and it does have a metal servo arm, which is nice. You don't see that on a lot of ready runs. A metal servo arm. Um, you do have extra spots here for extra servos, so maybe uh, maybe like a suck down winch or a uh, actually there's three spots. There's one here and then two here, so there's a lot of different um, things you can do with that. Uh, the pan hard mount is metal, which is an improvement over the SCX-10 III. Now I actually had an SCX-10 III and I never had an issue uh, with my original pan hard mount, but I know that um, just reading online and stuff that that was. Uh, a concern, so um, we got that fixed here on the uh, the later versions of the SX-10 III, I believe the Bronco also came with a metal pan hard uh, mount, but also here on, on the basic one, which is great, that's really good. Um, your bat battery mounts are either in the back or on the side, and uh, that's pretty much standard um, from the original SCX-10 III. Um, your transmission is just a regular good old uh, single speed uh, transmission that um, you can change the gearing out so if you went to straight axles for instance like you got the straight axle kit um, there's an optional gearing kit for this transmission that you can change out um, just because of the way that uh, uh, the speed changes from one axle to the other um, what else do we got here uh, so you're a 35 turn motor um, got a 40 amp brushed spectrum speed controller You've got your uh, regular everyday Spectrum SR315. Um, your radio is the SLT, which is pretty much standard for all the ready-to-run stuff. Um, metal links, and it's a four-link, so we're trying to reduce the amount of torque twist as much as possible. These are good old AR45 axles. Um, I'm gonna guess that quite a bit of the sales uh, for this are gonna be specifically to get those axles. And for good reason, they're kind of a, kind of one of the standard axles that guys are using on their like class three builds, um, class two, um, pretty much not all of them, you know. But uh, portals, they're portal axles, right? Um, that does mean that you can put like overdrive and underdrive aftermarket in it. Um, I know that there's overdrive that you can also do uh, through the portal itself. So there's quite a bit that you can change up in there with that um, metal shocks which is nice, no chintzy plastic shocks. And of course, um, metal uh, C-channel frame. So that's really good too. It is a little twisty, but again, we're looking at a base camp here. So here's what I think. 
when the SCX-10 III was first announced, I was like, oh man, this is going to be a replacement now for the SCX-10 II. Um, but the price point uh, made me think twice about that, and the SCX-10 IIs are still selling like crazy. Um, you've got the uh, Raw Builders Kit version of the SCX-10 II. Uh, that's even cheaper if you don't want to have wheels, tires, bodies, any of that stuff. This is basically, in my opinion, this is what would be a replacement, an overall replacement for the uh, everyday ready to run SCX-10 II. And the price point is good, so I believe it's uh, 379, 389, something like that. And that's right in the range uh, that it should be if we were looking to just straight up replace um, an SCX-10 II series truck. And the portals are good because you get that extra clearance it's kind of the going thing nowadays. I don't know. That's uh, that's what I think about it. I guarantee we're going to start seeing this transmission on a few um, new builds and stuff. However, the one difference between the SCX-10 II transmission and this one is just the placement of the screws to hold it in place. So a lot of those um, like uh, high clearance skids and stuff are going to have to be um, machined, remachined or whatever, or redesigned in order to fit this new transmission. So what I think about it is, uh, is like, for instance, when the Enduro came out, it had, it was one of the first ones that actually had like a servo mounting um, area in the front for additional winches and stuff. And now we've got three different ones on this. So I think you could take this and uh, do pretty good with it, make it a trail truck, make it, um, you know, a pretty competitive local rig um, for some of your crawling comps and stuff. We're gonna find out because we're gonna put this thing through its paces and uh, you'll see that next.
enough of this slow crawling nonsense. Let's go bash this thing. Alright guys, there you go, SCX-10-3 base camp, um, had a lot of fun today. We uh, uh, took it to the Hobbyflex crawler course and then uh, we decided to go out and uh, give it a good bash. It's pretty fast right out of the box, so it actually kind of makes a pretty fun basher, um, believe it or not. Um, got it super muddy, hosed it off, came out here to my uh, backyard crawler course, took it through some lines and uh, pretty happy with it. Um, pretty excited to put some, uh, put some weight on the axles, maybe try some different tires out and uh, see if we can get it uh, even better from its stock form. So overall, I'd say pretty good buy. Um, definitely a lot of fun, definitely waterproof. And uh, of course those proven SCX-10 three axles um, do their thing. So make sure that you guys subscribe, like, tell your friends, and uh, we'll definitely make another video soon. Thank you to Axial and Horizon Hobby for the opportunity to give this thing a go.